sometimes Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb but I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough Cause climb Cause I'm a Woo! live life for the fight Yeah, I'm here to get it I got drive, got sight Always have a vision I go by at night I be in my feelings I'ma be fine Need time and I'll soon be winning I live life for the fight Yeah, I'm here to get it I got drive, got sight Always have a vision I go by at night I be in my feelings I'ma be fine Need time and I'll soon be winning I can feel the blood creeping up From the heathens Got will, got fight Got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat no, I'm gon' feed him if you're coming for me. Hope you're ready for a demon. I can feel the blood creeping up from the heat of sky. We don't got fight, got pride, got reason. If you wanna go, we don't got to feed him if you're coming for me. Hope you're ready for a demon. Feeling got for change. I just love the feeling. No. I ain't gonna give up. Got too little time, I'ma live up. Head down, push forward through the tough times. Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb. What's up, everybody? August 5th, 2024. We got Tropical Storm Debbie doing her thing on the Gulf side of Florida. So we're just getting, you know, some, some uh, waves of, of weather coming this way. But, uh, ah, mosquito, come here. Ooh, that's a big one too. All right, we got mosquitoes in here. We're good. All right, so where was I? Uh, yeah, so I woke up this morning and since yesterday it said it's gonna be raining most of the morning. Now I have a small window. It looks like nine to 11, possibly no rain. I'm not gonna trust that 100%. So we did bring the rain gear. I do think that thankfully we got plenty of cloud cover the day before the storm came in and that kept our temperatures a little bit lower than usual. So that is what they're saying is that's why you're not seeing as much lightning and thunder. So I'm thinking instead of, I was going to stay home, but because there's no, or not a lot of lightning and thunder, uh, I'm thinking let's go sneak out. Let's go fish out fish for, you know, two hours. And that's probably all I can do today. But bring the rain gear, but ultimately I'd like to find a spot to fish. It's got a little cover. Uh, most of the wind's coming from the south, southwest. So I'd like to find a spot that's either protected from that wind or a spot that'll allow me to cast with the wind. So the only spot after looking on, on, on my, my Google Maps and bed for like a, you know, a good hour last night. Dang, I need to kill that little sucker. He's gonna get me. Sorry, I just he's like out for she is out for blood because if you didn't know The male mosquitoes don't don't get you it's The females they need it for their eggs or something like that Anyway, what was I saying before I was so rudely interrupted by that blood sucker? Uh, yeah, so yeah, the conditions I'm looking at right now are pretty gnarly so want to find a spot that we've got some cover, we've got some structure, we've got some protection from the wind, the rain, all that, and see what we can do. <laughs> but it's either there's going to be no one there or everybody's going to be there, and I'm not sure. So maybe we'll turn around if that's the case. All right, so enough jibber-jabber. I'm thinking about using, I'll, I'll talk more about the setups and everything if it works. Uh, we're going to head over to Space Coast Bait and Tackle as usual and maybe get two dozen live shrimp thought about doing mullet but I tried mullet the other day didn't have much luck so you know it is what it is so I'm thinking we'll do some shrimp so hopefully we the, the weather report is right and we do get a somewhat of a break in the rain but honestly I don't mind the rain especially if I'm fishing underneath the bridge so I'm hoping the rain and the storm kind of keep most of the fishermen at home but the fact that it's a Tuesday or no it's a Monday morning Let's just hope there's no one there. It'd be nice to have the bridge to myself, but as you've seen in previous videos, the bridge is a very popular spot and you will get guys showing up and they will fish right up on you. They don't give a, you know what? They will fish right up on you. There's no fishing etiquette or whatever. So, um, fingers crossed that we don't gotta deal with no shenanigans. Yeah, so we'll see how it goes, everybody. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. Catch you over there. Peace! Hey, 
it's all right let's see how it is like i said the wind is the biggest movement of water here oh my yeah it's ripping all right that might that might complicate things a little bit there's a dude kayak fishing out there you're freaking crazy dude Hmm. See, I just don't know where I want to Okay, he's trying to beat the current. He's still on. Woo! Oh, damn. Come on. Woo! It's my first tarpon right here, baby. Woo! Hell yeah. Tighten up the drag a little. He's never mind. He's, he's gone. He's got another wind in him right now, right? Ah. Yeah. Damn, he's going. Oh my gosh, Dave, thank you, buddy. You was just staying a little deep. Hell yeah, bud. You, just a little deep. you helped me get my first one, man. Thank you.
I've been looking for these guys. Just look at that shine. The scales. The Silver King. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, buddy. And the release. And he splashes me on the way out. See how cool that is? That this, uh, the Mulatron, the hook comes out so the bait doesn't get damaged. And then you pull it right back through and it sits right there. I gotta get going, but let's just try maybe one more. They're getting it right on the drop. fishing and I didn't bring enough stuff that was heavy enough to get where I wanted because the current's ripping you know and like I said there's no tide thing there but because of the wind and everything in the Indian River it was pushing tons of water into the Mosquito Lagoon so what I did was I remembered in my car I had a um, a big Molotron uh, I'm gonna go pick up some more right now so I was put in a picture of what I was using right here. And I figured, hey, that's got a little bit more weight. Let's just lob it over to the, the dead zones and then just kind of like let it drift in the current. And you'd only get maybe 20, 30 seconds drift at max before you got a recast. Just doing that, another guy showed up and right when I threw it on one of the pylons, boom, I'm on. And it, it goes airborne and I'm like, ooh, it's a tarpon. This is my first, well, I, I fought tarpon, but they've always thrown it. So as soon as he jumps, I drop that rod. As soon as he jumps, I drop that rod. Fought it and I haul over, you know, when you're fishing the bridges, you wanna bring it to the side and try and get it, but the water's just ripping everywhere. So I asked, thankfully I brought my net. Thankfully, I, I at least I thought ahead. I asked the guy that was there, I'm like, hey bro, can, can you help me net this thing? He helps me net it and boom, my first tarpon, baby, yes. And remember I told you, once you pop that cherry, they should come a lot easier. And no pun intended. Anyway, so yeah, I kept fishing for a little bit, kept trying a little things, and then I snagged that Mulatron. Ah, and uh, yeah, so I lost it over on the, on the, the pier because someone else is fishing line. So, all I had, I tried drifting a little crab, making uh, like a little crab imitation off of a popping cord, other swim baits. I tried some other uh, little um, paddle tails that I have. Just nothing was heavy enough and I wasn't getting hit. So then I tried the same thing that I had at Molotron, but a smaller one, I think the 4.5. And I wasn't getting much. I went for a good hour, still seeing some tarpon rolling, but I uh, wasn't getting any hits. And then towards the end there, right when it hits the water. They like it right when it hits that water because I can't, you know, it doesn't drift down very much. The current is so strong. So you gotta get them on that, that first initial hit. If not, then reel it in, cast again, reel it in, cast it in. But uh, right towards the end there, we caught a second one, uh, a smaller one for sure. But, uh, woo, I'm telling you, sometimes, uh, you know, the weather's real crappy, be safe. Be safe, be safe. You know, I've saw some guys on boats and kayaks out there and it looked pretty hairy. So be smart, 
you could still fish during the storms, but make sure that you take that into account. Uh, I was fishing a spot where my car's close by. I've got structure, I've got protection. Um, and the only reason why I went out and did it is just because there wasn't much, uh, I haven't heard any lightning at all. And that's just because thankfully we got a lot of cloud cover the day before, which kind of dropped those temperatures just a little bit. So, whew, what a day, what a day. Like I said, the last couple trips have been not so great, but you just gotta keep at it, keep at it. And you know, so you don't even need a kayak to catch fish. You just gotta, you know, stay on the move, find the fish. We found the fish, we knew that they were feeding and just keep grinding at it and you'll get them. So now I'm gonna head over back to the uh, tackle shop, grab me a couple more of those Mulatrons, those bigger ones. Maybe I'll grab two this time. They're not cheap, so that's why I went, you know, I, I paid for those tarpon today. Um, so we're gonna go get that. Uh, anyway, a little bit short, sweet video. I was putting together another video of the last kayaking trip and the last shore fishing trip that I went on, but I really just didn't have much footage to work with. And I had a pretty busy weekend, so I didn't really get around to um, putting it together. So I did make a couple shorts and, and a couple clips just showing how the weather changes and all that. But um, yeah, it hasn't been the best trips uh, lately. So anyway, like I said, when the storm's hitting, most people stay inside. But um, if you plan it right, play it safe, you can still get out there and get on those fish because when you get this kind of a pressure change, this kind of a temperature change, and this, this kind of water movement, it, it, it just changes the game. And you should at least get out and at least check on it because sometimes those those changes will really trigger a bite. And then it just comes down to what are they gonna hit? Keep switching it up, keep switching it up. And if you still don't get nothing, move to the next spot. But anyway, everybody, I appreciate you for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Ta